we finished the workout, hit chest and back, and I thought we'd do a little run through of the workout. So we hit one and a quarter bench for today. Basically the point of the one and a quarter bench, we're gonna focus a little bit more on the time under tension, and we're gonna be focusing on exploding up because a lot of people have trouble with the lift like really low. So we, we kind of worry about, you know, we want to make sure we focus on this section versus being up here because everybody, once you're halfway, everybody can push the weight no matter what the weight is, it seems like. It's not too difficult. Then we hit some pull-ups. Uh, for the pull-ups, we did a little bit of a challenge. So we went back and forth trying to beat each other in the amount of reps we hit. So like, I hit 9, Wes hit 10. I hit 11, Wes hit 12. And then we kept going up till we both hit 50. And I won that. So I came in first in the whole 50 thing, which was great. <coughs> no. Only because you started Only because, first oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we took turns and we hit it. I mean, technically, you know, I would I think I would have hit it first. And then uh, after I won the pull ups thing, we went to uh, cable flies. We just worked on basically flushing the blood in, sar flushing the sarcoplasm, in, building it up, uh, a lot of hypertrophy. Uh, we superset it with rear delt flies. It's just something I like to do. I feel like once you squeeze really hard, it's good to like get that expansion out. Uh, after we did the superset there, we hit another superset where we did basically one arm rows on the machine, which you're gonna see now. But it's kind of, we call them bat wheels because I don't know exactly what to hear, what to call it. Uh, I kind of got that from the online coach if you ever see him. Pretty awesome guy. Uh, we superset that with the Gi Team Press, focusing on the upper pec. I know there's no like lower pec and upper pec and all that crap. I understand that. But whether you want to believe it or not, when you press, you're gonna feel this upper a lot more than you feel down here. Like you're, when you're doing guillotine press, it's for the upper chest because your chest expands into fibers, right? It like wings out basically. And then you're working a lot more of these fibers up here than you are down here because it's just how it works. It's science, it's your body, just whatever you wanna call it. I know they're not separated, they're all the same chest, but you're working the upper part of the chest. Um, after that we hit, we did one arm press and we supersetted that with with high rows, we did some high rows just from above. We used a wider grip to get the up, get a little bit more of the upper lat because we want to, you know, work on the whole V and everything, especially if we're heading to Olympia. So we got to work on the upper, upper back, chest, shoulders, traps, everything. Ba legs, quads, quads, chest, elbows, knees, and toes. All right, so after that, we went and did a gargantuan set, which we also didn't film. Uh, just on a personal reason because we were since we were both doing it back to back to back and we were continuous neither of us could film so it was just like uh, it was just a good finisher we basically did some pyramid push-ups we did some decline press and some close grip pull downs and now Wes is gonna leave because I told him I'm gonna kick him out so uh, this is Wes and he's leaving and so. yeah <sighs> this is me kicking him out forever he's actually never gonna be in a video again it's kind of disappointing, but to each his own. He owns 33% of the company. Bound Fitness. I mean, I don't, it's not, we don't own Bound anything. Bound to be great. You know, he's, that's not the slogan. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, bye, man. Have, have a good night.